My name is Ray Tyree, School of Engineering, UBC Okanagan. Uh, UBC, along with numerous universities across the world, decided to switch to online courses to prevent spread of or further spread of coronavirus. Uh, I got some questions from a few colleagues that you know they have not done before online um, lecture posting, and this prompted me to build a very simple device that helps them to use uh, at their home the, either the iPod or their phone to capture the lectures. Uh, I'm going to open the box, so go step by step. I bought this uh, container for 10 bucks uh, Home Depot yesterday and then they actually cut a piece of wood for me which perfectly sit inside uh, this box. It cost me only five dollars. That's the board. So again, the size, it's, it really is not important as long as it's heavy enough that can counteract the weight of your camera. So the next thing I did, I made a hole. Uh, everything I used here is half an inch ID. So you can use three quarter or even an inch, it's gonna be longer. Uh, pretty simple when you go to, for example, Home Depot, they're all color coded. The color for half an inch ID is purple and then they have blue and white and yellow. So as long as you are all in the same size, the rest is just like a Lego. You just try to uh, mix and match. So I bought one of these inside outside threads. So outside has a thread, inside has a thread. And I could have used uh, maybe a pipe and press it in, but I like the thread because it's stronger. So now this is what we have. So again, the ID is half an inch. And then I bought uh, two feet long, both sides threaded. This is 18 inches, both sides threaded. Foot long, both sided threaded. And this is six inches. So these are very inexpensive, about ranging from $1.50 to $3. Um, then I bought a few other things. I have a 90 degree both side threaded, and I have a T-junction both side threaded. I have a connection both side threaded. Um, this is uh, also a both side threaded for half an inch ID. And I have a few other things. These are all basically can make it from scratch. So the idea is you have a mount that you can put your camera or your iPad and simply you capture your lecture. So obviously this goes here, just you put it in and you screw it. You don't have to be too uh, hard because you're gonna open it. So pretty solid. So the next step is depends on how uh, what is your camera and how you can focus, you can add more. But let's say this is the proper size. Uh, and then I add 90 degree. Uh, connection. And for this particular case, if I want to use, for example, my uh, iPad, so I have this extension. This is six inches. And then I did uh, very simple. Again, again, this is one way of doing it. I just want to show the simplicity of this. This is a T uh, connection. And what I did, I also put or glue uh, a magnet on top. Why? Because then I using this, I 3D printed, but you don't have to 3D print. You can simply cut uh, out of wood. And then this simply goes and click on top of here. The good thing about this is, depends on what you're using, you can just switch it this way, any kind of direction. So, and then uh, I can simply put my phone on the top here, depends on where the actual uh, camera is. Make sure you don't put it too far because it's gonna fall. So, simply that's exactly what I want to. What if I want to twist it the other side so I can go like this? And that's the beauty of this, so you can just go like this here. There we go, I can go put it here. Phone goes even here, and I can just simply write. If you have, for example, a bigger device, you can put it on top here. I have one more phone here, it goes like this way, it goes like this. 
and like this, and the camera's here. You want to angle it, you can simply move it, and this does the job. Very simply, uh, we can, you can use it. If you want to make it a little more fancier, so imagine that I want to have a little more flexibility, degree of freedom, so I'm going to take this here, and what I use, simply two 90 degree uh, elbow, and one of them, uh, in both of them, I connect this, this cut again, same size of pipe, and put it in and glue it. So except one side, it has one of these stoppers, goes all the way in, stops. I glue it, and then on top again, I put one of the rare air magnets, which is very strong. So how it works is that I simply want to connect it, these two together like this, and now I'm going to simply, even this, okay, or you want to do more like this here. And then again, I 3D print these things. Uh, this is a simple uh, kind of like a phone mount that it goes to your uh, car's uh, dashboard or console. $9.99, Dollarama. And then again, I 3D print this kind of device, pretty much the same size, except it has two rare air magnets again. So this is pretty simple. So what I will do is, I put my phone in any position I want, and you press it, it locks itself, and it has quite a bit of degree of freedom. So you can move this any position you want. In this case, mine is going to be vertical, and then I can move, and then simply, this goes and snaps in like this. So I want to change the direction I can do. And good thing about it, I can even bring it here vertically. If I open this guy here, so if I have something on the board, I can go like this, 90 degree, no, and I can mount it simply here. So again, depends on how you want. So this is perfectly works. It took me a couple of hours to figure out everything, but I can make one in 10 minutes. And, and the good thing about this device is it's very flexible. Like for example, if I realize this is not uh, high enough, so I can simply open this. So I just gonna take it out here and I add an extension. If you remember, this is a, a foot long and I can go like this here. And then this simply goes on top of it. So now, no matter what is your camera, so this would definitely, and I think maybe the easier way to do is, so is just connect it here. And again, you don't have to tie it, and then you put it here, and you can install it there. There we go. What if you want a longer one? Simple, you can add, instead of that six inches, long, I can simply add as long as I want. So I can add this. So this gives you a variety of positions. If I'm running actually an experiment, I want to be quite very, I want to have more area to cover. You can go up to uh, about three and a half feet, almost a meter. So that would cover a large space. How far you want to go, it depends on again. What, one thing I find about this is it's very versatile. And truly, it takes maybe about 10, 15 minutes if you just follow the instruction. It's not much. It took me a little longer for the first time to all figure it out. I did a couple of trials. And uh, also, one thing uh, I want to tell you, at the bottom of this, so I add four of these simple pads, are 99 cents from uh, any kind of dollar shop you put under uh, your furniture's. Uh, legs and then this is what we glue it right here and now it's very smooth and quite stable. I think the most difficult part of that is making a hole the same size and you thread this in. If you have done that truly it's just like a, making a simple Lego. Mm -hmm. So thank you and I hope this uh, was helpful. I would be more than happy to make few of these for my colleagues in either of campus and again, it's very good because after you are done, you can all put everything back here. So I remove this here, and I, that's why I made these sizes all fit inside here. And here you go. You can take this one home anywhere you want. And there we go.
maybe weighs about five pounds. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and see you soon.